Namaste, sending Sagittarius, Moon, and Scorpio, uh, Leo rising. Uh, yeah, Moon and Scorpio, Leo rising, Sagittarius, North Node, Year of the Monkey, um, Sagittarius rising as well, and Venus in Virgo, Venus in Aquarius, Mercury in Capricorn and mercury and libra okay you need to watch what what whatever that's in your subconscious sagittarius um stop trying to hide your demons so much because you got a lot of demons okay <laughs> you got a lot of demons stop hiding your demons stop pretending so much um I, I think i did which one of the videos did i talk about no i think that was on my fanakusu joso instagram my fanakusu joso instagram where i talk all kinds of shit i upload them uploads them recordings to my the gray witch channel okay uh i think under some of the videos you'll see the link to my great gray witch youtube channel i believe yeah so um stop pretending so much okay we all have demons okay stop trying to be so perfect there's no such thing as perfection stop hiding and stalking and watching your spouse or your lover because you think they got a mistress stop just stop stalking okay oh by the way this is your how to transcend because how to transcend is to detach from that Capricorn frequency, the things that hold us down, that keeps us bounded to, you know, um, to ground level, because transcending is elevating, okay, rising high, okay, okay, so you also need to stop paying people to watch people that is weak, stop doing that, of course, if you're a Sag, Moon in Scorpio, uh a leo rising sag rising sag north node some other aspects i listed and you don't like this you good but i'm talking about the ones who know that you, they're doing this i'm talking about that stuff like that that's what's holding you back okay you constantly stalking and stop being so attached to prestige and reputation you stop seeing people as only being desirable because they're reputable okay or they know a lot of people or they have a lot of connections stop being so obsessed with wealth and inheritance okay Don't get with people because you want them to support you or spend money on you or, you know, be your bitch, <laughs> okay? If you are concerned that your spouse is having an affair, just, like, ask them. Don't be so obsessive about it, okay? Just stop. Stop being so paranoid. Stop thinking every time your spouse leaves home, they're going to a secret lover or, you know, a, a mistress. Stop thinking like that. Stop being some of you so detached from sex, pretending like you don't have sex. That's like weak, okay? That's some of you, okay?
stop hiding um what do you really think about certain controversial issues maybe you all are entitled to our own opinions okay stop worrying about who you are how you feel affecting how people see you on a regular just stop okay You, if you have children who are, you know, different, and they are like, um, if you have a child that stems from, that's just different from the family, like, say for a black sheep, but let me spe specify, like a child who, their belief differs from the rest of the family stop hiding that child okay stop pretending like that child don't exist also however you you feel express that in a beautiful way stop hiding that things don't bother you stop being so um stop pretending because it really does affect you inside okay and sometimes shit like this makes you age poorly because there's issues inside of you, things that bothers you. And you pretend that they don't. You look the other way. But you just pretend like you're, stop pretending to be perfect. Okay? It doesn't matter if people see you as less desirable. It doesn't matter if people see your family as dysfunctional. The truth is the truth because even if you cover shit up and sweep them under the rug, people still gonna see you as dysfunctional, okay? Like the people who's got ego visions, like and eventually all of what you sweep under the rug will come to the surface. And when they do, it's gonna it's gonna be an explosion like a, a nuclear bomb. Mushroom cloud, okay? So you don't want that. No family is perfect. Stop pretending yours is. Or your marriage. Stop pretending your relationships are perfect, okay? Not saying you're gonna put your business out there, but just stop pretending. Stop hiding how you feel. Because you're obsessed with prestige and how the public views you. You want to be seen as this spiritual guru or this great person. Because you're so passionate about reputation. Just stop that. Stop using your influence also to change people's image. You, some of you, you have a tendency, you feel a certain way about people, and rather than, you know, being forthright with that, you conclusionally do things behind the scenes to, to manipulate their lives. Stop doing that. Stop using your money, your support system. To hurt other people because they're different. Stop using that support system to attack people because you think they're different. That's that's you reaping karmic debts. You don't have bad karma on you. Okay? Learn to move on. I mean, like, you pull on that moon in Scorpio, or this could be moon in Scorpio, you tend, to, you don't tend to feel that much. You don't tend to move on that much. Your comfort is in inheritance and your wealth and stuff like that. You need to 
when you're you're public and and your 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 image how how you come off to people just stop doing that stop being so uh, so obsessed with yourself and your image stop doing that it's why you age horribly because you are obsessed about it just let go be more in that pisces frequency pisces rising just flow pisces rising sun in in, in cancer just flow stop being so obsessive and, and attached to comfort and comfortability and stuff like that in your spouse and your home stop being so obsessive about your home please we can't take that shit when we die just live and let live okay so that's how to transcend just shed away them you know toxicities and negativity from your life namaste